Welcome to my torture test of the Sane Logic 6 inch chainsaw that was sent to me by Sane Logic in exchange for making this review video. The question is, is this saw worth the money? Let's find out. But you're probably wondering what comes in the box. So without further delay, let me get you acquainted with the 6 inch 20 volt chainsaw from Sane Logic. There's a promotion link in the description of this video for 60% off the original price. This chainsaw comes in a highly fashionable carrying case, which I can't decide on the name of the color. I'm thinking seafoam or aquamarine. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The contents don't seem as crowded in this case as I had seen in many other cases. Some saws don't even come with the case, which is not sane or logical, literally. See what I did there? There's a warranty extension card with a scannable QR code, a user manual written in a few different languages, a battery charger, not of the docking type, but functional nonetheless. There's two batteries, 21 volt, two amp hour lithium ion. There's an extra chain and a Ziploc bag containing a pair of gloves estimated to be size medium, but way too small for these paws. Yeah, these don't fit my hands too well. And then there's a small cleaning brush with a picking tool to clean the saw and under your fingernails. Then there's the saw itself, a slightly darker blue than the case and similar to that of the Makita line of power tools, only different. One of the first things I noticed about the Sane Logic 6 inch chainsaw was the orientation of the motor. Most of these smaller saws have a motor that sticks out the side usually on the passenger side or to the right when you're holding the saw. So what am I getting at? Well, in one aspect, it's convenient for the user to get closer to the tree trunk if you're cutting off a branch without having to resituate yourself with that motor sticking out to one side or the other. In this day and age, most of these saws advertise brushless motors, while the same logic says on the box that this saw has a brushed motor. There's a hinged spring-loaded cover on top of the blade for added safety, which is typical on these saws. This saw includes a scabbard, which is very helpful to prevent snags when carrying this saw in your purse or your backpack. Unlike the weatherman, when Sane Logic promises you 6 inches, you can count on every last millimeter with exactly 6 inches of usable bar length, according to my enchilada. With the battery and scabbard, this saw weighs in at 3 pounds, 1.6 ounces, if weight is a factor. There's a spring-loaded safety button on both sides of the saw that prevents accidentally pulling the trigger. This trigger seems to be a little more solid than triggers on a lot of these saws that I tested, and having the release button on both sides makes operating this saw easier for left and right handed people. Adjusting chain tension is simple on this saw by loosening the black wing nut on the inside, turning the blue knob to set the tension, then retightening the black wing nut. Loosening the black wing nut all the way is how you remove the guard, the bar, and the chain. In my opinion, not needing tools for adjustments is definitely the way to go. That's about it. We're about ready to go cut some wood. The Sane Logic chainsaw does not have automatic chain oiling, nor could I find a recommendation in the user guide for what type of oil to use. I am certain, though, that any bar oil or this 3-in-1 oil will be fine. Just a few drops after every 10 or so cuts should be plenty. Before we wrap this up and move on to cutting some wood, I'm going to top off the charge on the batteries. There's a red LED that will turn green when the battery is fully charged. And that pretty much wraps up the features of a Sane Logic chainsaw, and all that's left to do is go out and cut up a log. We're going to start out with a cherry log that was live just a few weeks ago, so it's basically green. Since I don't own any saw bucks yet, I'll be clamping this into an electrician's or plumber's tripod vise and mostly Mike will explain here how this torture test will go down. Okay, this is gonna be a sudden death match. When the saw suddenly dies, the match is over. We have a, what I'm gonna call the regulation cutting log. We are right at about four inches, maybe a little bit shy of four inches, which I think will be a good test for this saw. So here we go. The test, torture test on the same logic saw.
I'm gonna give it a little drink of oil here. Getting tired. On. I don't know if we're going to get this last cut. Alright, I don't think we're going to get another cut out of this, but I'm going to count these and then we'll try. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cuts. I don't think we're gonna get 12. Nah, no, the battery's dead. So, 11 cuts on a single charge. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Keep in mind though, that at least for a limited time in December of 2023, there's a coupon to get this saw for just $39.99, if price is a factor. I'm thinking that the vertical orientation of the motor could be why the saw doesn't seem very torquey. It's usually a trade-off on chain speed and torque when you do that. Anyway, let's move on to test number two some general pruning. So I have this hard maple tree that I generally cut the whole top off of every couple years, so I'm not too concerned about doing a neat job. So I'll trim a couple branches, then cut up said branches by the fire pit to get a general idea of how the Sane Logic chainsaw handles general limbing and pruning. All right, now this is green maple. Hang on, I'm gonna grab my enchilada. All right, now, according to my enchilada, we are at 70 and a half. No, I'm just kidding. We are at two and a quarter inches, roughly. And I'm just gonna cut this into firewood billets and then we'll see how it does. You can tell by the size of the chips how, uh, how sharp the blade is. It's throwing pretty nice chips up. And it's dwindling in size. I'd say that's already less, like a, an inch less in diameter. Not too bad. I'm gonna go cut another one off. I mean, the saw didn't do bad. It cut the big limb into several smaller, more manageable pieces that could be burned in my fire pit. So I formed some opinions on the Sane Logic chainsaw, and I'll say this first. I've reviewed a lot of these saws, perhaps too many of them lately. I've seen better saws, and I've seen worse. But for 40 bucks, this saw isn't bad considering that. There's some great features on the Sane Logic saw, such as the robust safety button, which is important. This saw can really mess you up in the blink of an eye if accidentally turned on while your hand was on the business end. Well, we don't want to do that. With... The scabbard is a necessity if you like to tote your saw in a pack or purse. The honest six inches of cutting length is nice, but I think that cutting a six inch thick log with this saw is really pushing it. Keep in mind that there's two batteries and under ordinary use, you probably wouldn't make consecutive cuts on a four inch cherry tree. If you've cut cherry before, there seems to be some tough fibers that stomp the saw dead and that sucks the life right out of batteries. It's like that the blade is so sharp it wants to catch on the log. If you enjoyed or got some entertainment out of this video, can you please give it a thumbs up so it gets shared to a broader audience? Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation, and I'll see you next time.